Okay, welcome to a short video about using your ebook while well, using a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I'm going to show you how to disable the pop up blocker, and I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks with the ebook best practices. Click on this link up here at the top right, go down to settings, and this will open up a new window. And you're going to, you can do some other things and sign in with your school email account so you're so your settings show up with you but go to the bottom and click on show advanced settings and then you're going to be looking at privacy here content settings okay just go through here cookies you want to allow show all images you want to allow you want to allow javascript run plugins handlers are fine and then allow sites to use pop-ups that's what the key is here and then just scroll down, make sure everything's good to your taste, and then hit OK. Now, once you do that, you can close the Settings tab. Now, we're going to go down, click on our CIS 100 ebook, and it should pop up a new browser. You can see it's in its own window. If you're using Windows 7, you can take that, click and hold, and drag all the way to the right to auto save, or auto size rather, and then grab your original browser. Double click at the top, take that all the way to the left to auto save. If you're not using Windows 7, this feature does not exist. You can simply just move things into their general area and use a half and half screen as I'm doing right now. And you can use this menu here to go back to your course. So the idea is to have your ebook in one, your course in the other. So let's click read now. I'm going to show you some new features. First thing to remember is the table of content. This is going to be your best resource depending on what chapter you're covering in your class. And you can find the chapter by clicking on your course and scroll down to the particular week and looking up here to see what you're covering. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and so on and so forth. So let's assume that we're looking at Chapter 3. And within Chapter 3 we're going to go to Section E which starts on 162. And then on 162, that expands, and then we're going to go down here to 164, and you can start reading. Use the zoom in buttons up here to zoom into your text, and then you zoom back out. Feel free to use the arrows left and right to pan between pages. Keep in mind, you can highlight text, and then copy that text to a notepad or a Word document, which could end up being an assignment, for example, and you want to copy the questions. You can add a note, you can leave a bookmark, you can also go to a particular page. Okay. And then you can also search for a particular term. All the whole book, this page, or this chapter. I'm going to go whole book, search for the term router. And this is going to show me every possible page that has the word router and give me a snapshot of the text. And I can go click on that page, it'll show up. I can get this out of the way for now. And I can scroll down and freely look what's going on with routers. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any more questions or have any suggestions for videos, please email us, tech at acot.edu, or please fill out a tech support ticket, which is the best way to reach us, by clicking on any of the support icons. Please give us some feedback on this video. We hope to hear from you soon. Do remember, if you're having any trouble with your ebook and any tablets, please use this link up here on the right. It will take you to our videos page. Thank you very much for your time, and do have a great day.